It's very simple. Three, three. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. But you can do many things with uh, single strokes. Just try them out, orchestrate them on the kit. For example, play triplets. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, right, left, right, left, right, left, and put the quarter note accents on the rack tom. And then take those subdivisions and switch from snare drum to floor tom, like so. One Shorten the, the, the sequence and switch every half bar. Then speed it up. Or put the accent here. Or put the accent on the crash symbol. Just single strokes. It's just simple. It's simple. Okay? It's simple. It's very simple. It's just. One triplet, two triplet. So now what, the question we're going to get, and and we'll this is the same question we'll probably get throughout all of these is. How, how do you develop that? How do you get to that level? Like, obviously, this is something you just didn't start practicing yesterday. This is something you've been doing for a long, long right, time. Right. Yes. Key is, the faster you play, the more relaxed you are. Mm -hmm. If you have a long distance to cover, like from floor tom to crash cymbal, bring your body forward into the middle of the two targets mm -hmm. so you can, you have the reach basically, okay. or you double your reach and half the distance. So don't lean back when you big cross sticking patterns. Make, make sure you sit straight, bring your upper body close to the action, mm -hmm. basically and uh, stay relaxed and of course you start with a lot of very basic hand practice i'm sure you've seen hundreds of lessons on finger control technique without wrists i however use mainly wrist strokes which is hardly any fingers at all it's our wrist because with wrist strokes because with wrist strokes, you can actually move stuff around the kit very easily and you always have a very tight grip. Make sure you have the correct hand position, which is always palm down. Imagine you're playing the drum set without sticks in your hand and you would be playing palm down. You would, you would never be playing with your thumbs facing up or the palms facing each other. So you would never karate chop the drum set, that would hurt. Mm -hmm. So that's the same way you hold the stick. Relax your arm, bring it up, put the stick in your hand, there it is. The, the palm always faces down. If you're playing in this position, and if you make sure that the stick's at a right angle, like so, and imagine the snare is the face of a clock, it's always 20 to 4, hour and minute hand. And this position gets moved all over the drums. You're just transferring this position. This is a very powerful stroke. You have a very firm grip and it's very easy to switch surfaces mm -hmm. and play with a lot of power. Awesome. Now, of course, um, singles, the same goes for the feet. So when I just wanted sure. to add this. Okay. If you play singles on top of the kit, also play those singles with the feet. Same thing. Here's a good example for something that I call note rate pyramid. For control, I want you guys to practice uh, 16th notes, 8th note triplets, 16th note triplets, quintuplets, septuplets, all these phrases. Play a basic beat and work those phrases in with the feet, for example. It would sound like this.
Then mix it up and play two, two, three, three, five, five, eight, for example. So. These are just for control, okay?